Hello everybody. This is just a, a video where I'll probably do some rambling, but at the same time I wanted to show you guys that I have um I couldn't sleep this morning, so I was up like five o'clock this morning. And um I decided, well, I guess I'll take all the clothes out and uh the baby clothes and try to organize them a little bit. I had um this bin here upstairs and so I brought it down and I um, basically had to, you know, try to make the best of everything because I'm not, eventually this room will be entirely the baby's room and then I will be out and I will be able to buy things specifically for them. But for now, I just made do because I didn't realize that this hobby would take up so much space. <laughs> And that I would have acquired as much stuff as I have. And I still feel like I really don't have a whole lot. Um, so let me show you anyway. Um, basically, I guess we'll start at the top. Um, I decided um, from watching everybody else's videos, I wanted to be a little bit more organized. That I put the little bit of passies that I have um, in here. So there's pacifier clip. There's a pacifier clip. I only have like two pacifier clips. Um, most of the ones that you, the pasties that's in, there's like two to each pack. Those are Logan's and this is his only one that's out. Because I try to keep his nipples clean because it's going in his mouth. So, I have pasties there and then I have the pasties. You know, when you get the the babies, a lot of the artists put the baby pasties in these little bags. So, I keep them. And then so I got some other passes just like thrown down in there. So I tried to keep, try to have it a little organized. Um, even though it's in a very small little container. So there's my passes. Um, oh, yeah, I keep my, this is like the only perfume I wear um, when I, it's uh, Chanel Tendra. Um, don't mind the Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I have that on my nightstand. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I use this bin for just the girls' hats. Um, they don't have a whole lot, so um, I use their hats and their brush and their comb and their headbands and little fidget bows and little clips. And I even put the little sunglasses here. And then I got a, like a whole bag of bowls and clackers. Like I took packs and packs to save space. Um, new packs that I had that was journey bowls. And I put them in that plastic bag so that I could save all that bulky space. And then I have my seed of happiness sitting here. And then this is Logan's powder brush. And um, these are my brushes here um, that I, you know, clean my babies with other, you know their ears their eyes and stuff like that I brush them um so yeah so I put that there and this is of course Logan's powder mohair spray um Logan's bottle well, these are the only bottles I have so I don't have many bottles and this bottle and that bottle and then here I decided to just put um Basically, because my boys wear hats, I have, they have about the same amount as the girls. I almost probably will end up with a lot more now that I've decided to keep Logan. Um, and then they have their bibs. I decided to put their little bibs in here too. And then this is like, I try to put stuff very accessible. These are my little uh, snap t-shirts and solid one, white onesies. Usually when ba my babies, um... I guess I should add that to my reborn quirks, um, hobby quirks. Uh, when they come home, if, especially if they got full legs, they always tend to go in a diaper and a t-shirt. Um, that's how I get a feel of their body. And then, I, like I said, my babies has shoes, but I don't put them on them. So there's the girl pair. That was actually, these were London. I think I bought these from London a long time ago and for baby jean, but they never wear them. And then they have little sandals. And I think they got a pair upstairs that I need to get. But yeah, and then the girls' socks are just thrown in here and their booties and stuff. But the boys' socks 
just to keep them separate I had them I have them in a ziplock so I'm trying to keep it where I don't really mess it up every single time I go to looking for stuff because what happens is when I go to looking for stuff I just pull out everything because I'm looking for one specific thing so um, here are all my little newborn onesies um, which are you know my boys but then back here I put this this back here and it looks like a little bit of stuff but I got them really smashed down um, but that is stuff for a full-size baby boy um, I am gonna eventually have one <laughs> next year but um, so I'm not gonna get rid of those clothes cuz I I had them when I had Cameron and so yeah but I'm I'm going to um, keep those for when I get another boy so I put the boys stuff there and then this drawer uh oh this drawer is basically um, the girl stuff but this is they're put together by outfits so if they got little bottoms or pants these are those specialty outfits I call them the ones that you don't really tend to mix match a whole lot every now and then you might use the bottoms for something but those pretty much always wear them together like that so I decided to just do a drawer with just the stuff just together and then this drawer is um basically my cutesy onesies but they um some can be used as undershirts so i have quite a bit of those um those are for my my more full-size babies uh peyton and uh paris london can wear a little bit of them but she kind of got her own onesies which is kind of pushed back to the back and these are her onesies I don't know if you guys can really see that, but yeah, she has quite a bit. And then she has some little decorative onesies here. Um, so I just put that there. And then these are their more, I don't know, I guess you would say these are more decorated um, onesies here. Um, some they haven't even worn yet, but um, so yeah, I got some of them. I got my two dollar bill there for good luck but yeah so yeah the more like dressy onesies that you wouldn't too much put up under stuff I put them on this side I still have a little bit of room in this drawer but I didn't want to make it too too crammed and this is my favorite PJs for Paris and Peyton and their sleepers um which is like their pajama clothes I don't know, let's see if I'm getting that. Um, and I put this here because this thing is nightstand is right beside my bed, and it's easier for me to just grab that because a lot of times I put my babies in pajamas every single night. So, and they need more pajamas. But anyway, that's that. And then I did this drawer was kind of like cutting. I was kind of at this point I was kind of squishing stuff in. So I have all their pants here. And then I have some pants here and jeans, a pair of jeans there. And then these are like um, bottoms, like right here. Let's see, is it separate? Yeah, okay. Um, it's uh, like skirts and shorts and like that. And then I just did this to separate because I had loose diapers. But this is like my my little diaper pack, and it's few kind of specialty diapers in there, kind of cute little some of my favorite diapers in there. So I keep them in the little pack. They came probably with a baby, and I keep them. And then I have some there that was just loose and not in the pack. And then these are some of their rumpers. So I kept their rumpers kind of separate. Um, yeah, for the girls. All my girls can kind of wear the same stuff, so they share clothes. And this drawer is definitely all over the place, but it's it makes sense. I have some more 
um, boy stuff here. Um, I was kind of running out of room, so I had to kind of mix some things up. These are the boy's sleepers. This is his <clears throat> swaddle, Carter swaddle that he came with. And then <clears throat> here I have, um, I know you guys probably can't see that I have a little bit of preemie, some like preemie onesies. They're really, really small because baby jean is really, really small. So I, for his undershirts, I always use his preemie onesies. He's always with a preemie onesie underneath anything he wears. And then that's some of his preemie stuff and his shorts and some jeans. And then there's their pants. All their pants are here. They got a lot of pants, too. So then we got pants there. And then this is some more of the girls' just regular shirts. And rump. There's a few rompers in there, but and sleepers, so just some random girl stuff that they don't really wear a whole lot. Just, so I just put it at the bottom of there. And that's pretty much what I did so far. And then I put the diapers. So I bought a pack of diapers here, size two, because usually most babies can fit twos, even if they're small, because I like my diapers big if they don't have full legs. And, um, oh, wow, we are 11 minutes. I'm going to show run upstairs real quick and show you the babies, and then I'll be done with this video. And here are the babies. And they're all up here in the nursery. And there's uh, Paris, London, Peyton, Baby Jean, little hands <clears throat> baby Jean and Carter they're all here so I don't know see you guys can see they're in the hall in the bed and um I didn't show you the few little things that I have hanging up in the closet for the babies but I do have a few little things hanging up in the closet but not that many so it wasn't even worth showing so um basically I do need, um, I need a lot of more clothes, but I'm going to definitely, um, uh, probably today buy another plastic bin to keep in my walk-in closet upstairs so that, um, cause I don't have any more room for anything else really. So I definitely need more clothes for the baby. So, um, I'll be working on that since I can't buy any babies right now. So, um, yeah, just wanted to share um, that's what I've been doing all morning and amongst cleaning and, um, washing clothes and all that great stuff that us women do. See you guys later. Have a great day. I know that's been a long video. If you made it to the end, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>